Of course, folks, so welcome back to another vlog of the Growing Brooklyn store. And in today's vlog, we don't have much of a plan. We're just going to go with the flow and see what happens. But first of all, as you can see, I did go to the Lego store. We went to the Pick-A-Brick wall. We got a couple of very nice, unique pieces. And I'm going to show you guys what I got. And we're going to hopefully add some of those pieces to the Brooklyn store inventory. And also going to showcase a couple of things and talk to you guys about some little projects which I'm working on. And again, can't thank you guys enough for the amount of support on the channel it has been truly amazing we have now hit over 750 subscribers which is amazing i can't thank you guys enough our next goal is 800 subscribers so make sure to smash that subscribe button and let's get straight into the vlog All right, guys, so it is now time to show you guys what I got from the Lego store. Going to get all the stuff put out and onto the table. Of course, folks. So basically, the main focus of me going to the Lego store was mostly to go and get some stuff off the pick-a-brick wall. And as you can see, we have two cups. We've got one large, one small with a very nice range of pieces. So we're eventually going to be dumping these all out onto the tray and we will then be putting them all into their grip seal bags. And then we'll decide which ones we will be uploading on to the Brooklink store. And... Also made three very nice minifigures, look at them. And I made sure to get the jewel molded legs uh, because they can be very, uh, sometimes a bit exclusive. So made sure to get them and a couple of cool little things on the side. And this is the free uh, VIP pack thing that we got uh, from our purchases. And I'm probably gonna part this out later in this vlog. So make sure to stay tuned for that. And now I just bought a couple of things for myself. We got this Lego cup right here. Very, very cool. I do like it. I've wanted to get one for a while now now and uh, also a steve minecraft keychain very awesome that's going to be going on my set of keys which i have now got loads of key rings for but uh, i think what we're going to get done is get both of these cups emptied out onto the tray and then we'll put all the pieces into their grip seal bags so catch you guys in the next clip all right guys so as you can see i have now emptied both of the pick a brick cups on to the tray and you can see a very nice range of colors and pieces that we got we got some long purple masonry bricks we got some normal masonry bricks we got some weird flower pieces right here we got some flags we got some wheel pieces we've also got some yellow translucent heads which apparently are very very rare so very very cool indeed a very nice range of pieces and some grip sealed bags so gonna get all of these pieces put into their grip seal bags and i'll catch you guys in the next clip so finally guys i have now gotten all of the pieces put into their grip seal bags and we're going to start off over here we have lots of of gray masonry bricks. These are really, really useful, especially for people building their Lego city mocks. And I'm really happy to have picked lots of these up. These are great for adding those extra bits of detail. As well as these masonry bricks right here, we got some long lavender ones. And these are gonna be great to add to the Bricklink store inventory because I don't see many of these on Bricklink. So very happy to have picked these up. I probably should have picked more of these up. And we have a couple more masonry bricks right here. These pieces right here, these two by two tanned bricks will be going into the Geonosis Arena mock. So we're going to be putting those to the side and uh, probably should have got some more of those as well. And uh, we have some wheel pieces right here. Had to pick some of these up. I was like, you know what, may as well. And some gray wall pieces as well. I think these would be good for a mock as well. These pieces right here, these two right here, some cool flower pieces and then these weird uh, round things right here uh i was like you know what i saw these on the pick a brick wall i was like you know what i'll grab a few it'll be good to add to the brooklyn store inventory we of course have some cheese slopes very cool can't get enough of those and uh some lamps or chandelier pieces right here these are very cool i saw these on the pick a brick wall and i was like you know what go grab a handful of those 
We also have some blue flag pieces. I was like, you know what, may as well. And uh, these ladder pieces, which I think would be great for a Lego city mock, especially when you're making like a pool or something, you can put these on the side. I think that would suit it really, really well. We also have some trophies as well. These are pretty cool. And uh, these head pieces right here, not actually as rare as I thought they would be. Oh, I lied. But they would still be good to add to the Brooklink store inventory. Can still get a good bit of money out of those. And uh, finally, these pieces will also be going towards the Geonosis Arena mark. And uh, they'll be great to add those extra details on the arena floor. But yeah, a very nice range of pieces. I probably should, when I next go to the Lego store, get some more pick-a-brick cups. Because they are going to be replacing them with boxes, which is, you know, the whole environment stuff. But oh well. And um, I think what we're going to do is I'm going to put all these to the side. And uh, next week, we're going to be counting all of these pieces up for the ones that we're going to be putting in it to the Brooklink store. And then we can add those pieces. So see you guys in the next clip. Of course, folks, so I am now getting ready to go live. We're going to be playing some Lego Star Wars The Clone Wars 3. And our next goal is to 100% complete this game. So we've got a lot of stuff to get done. We're going to be going through all the levels, getting all the mini kits, etc, etc. And of course, the amount of support on the live streams has been amazing and I can't thank you guys enough for all those that have been tuning in and also if you want to get to know more about myself as well as stuff about the future of this YouTube channel make sure to tune into the live streams and I'll be talking about that stuff regularly in the stream so of course gonna get this stream done and I'll catch you guys once I've finished so we have completed another great stream it was a lot of fun and tomorrow we're gonna be playing some Lego Marvel so can't wait for that so I'll see you guys in the next clip of course, folks. So in the last vlog, I did get that Prince John minifigure. And I was like, you know what? I want to make a custom display for him. And I've currently just been making his throne. And I mean, it looks pretty decent. And I'll put a picture of what it looks like in the movies. But I am missing two vital things. There's meant to be a crown on the top right here. And a crown at the bottom right here. However, I don't know how to design and integrate them onto the one I currently have right now. So uh, if you do have any idea and you're good at designing these sorts of uh, mock things, then uh, let me know in the comment section below and uh, I'll try and change it. And then I can buy the pieces and then we'll build it. And uh, it should be cool to have in the background of our setup. So let's move on to the next clip. So guys, we are going to be parting out this Lego VIP set right here. And I know it's not a really large amount of pieces, but we still want to keep adding pieces to the store. Money is an issue right now. I'm trying to fund my Bricklink store, my personal collection, the Geonosis Arena mock. Also going to Japan in 2025. I've got lots of things I'm trying to focus my money towards, but we do want to keep adding pieces to the Bricklink store. And this does have a very nice range of pieces and lots in, so it's going to be great to part this out. So uh, hopefully we won't have to use many drawers either. So let's get on to parting this out. All right, guys, so as you can see, I've now got the poly bag fully emptied out onto the tray, and there are some very nice, unique pieces in here. We've got the pigs, we've got some wing pieces right here, we've got some uh, weird, I don't even know, we've got uh, a top hat as well, we've got some plain white heads. It's very cool, gonna be great to add all of these brand new lots in to the store. And it also does come with a small bag as well with lots of smaller pieces in. So I've got a couple of drawers out and I'll probably catch you guys when I've got all of these pieces done and we're gonna move on to adding these pieces. So see you guys in the next clip. Of course, folks, so we are now on to the small bag. Some very nice, awesome pieces, very colorful indeed. I've also got a couple more drawers out and um, all the remarks are coming along very nicely on brick store awesome so gonna get all of these put into their drawers get their remarks onto brick store and we should be ready to upload this all on to bricklink and we'll see how many new lots we are adding in to the store so see you guys when we're uploading this on to bricklink all right guys so as you can see we are now ready to upload all of these pieces on to the bricklink store look at all of these very very cool. So 156 pieces, 42 unique lots and almost 20 pound worth of pieces. So let's upload the file. Very cool. File successfully processed. Let's go on my store and see how many unique lots. 37 new lots added in to the Bricklink store, which is really, really awesome. So we're going to put all these drawers away and the tackle box and let's roll to the outro. Of course, folks, so it's been another great day. I've had lots of fun making this vlog. 
and I know it is a bit shorter than usual because we didn't pack any orders, we didn't get any Disney CMF packets, but when I went to my local Asda, they didn't have any in stock, which is a shame because I do want to get some more Prince John minifigures. But hopefully we'll get some for next week's vlog and also the amount of support has been truly amazing on the Brooklyn store, the YouTube channel and the live streams. We are edging closer to 800 subscribers every single day, which is really awesome. The support has been truly amazing as well as the feedback on the vlogs and the live streams. It has been amazing to chat to lots of you guys as well as discuss Lego, Brooklyn, Star Wars, Indiana Jones, Marvel, all of these different things. It has been truly, truly awesome and I'm truly grateful for all of the support so of course i do give updates when i am live monday tuesday wednesday on my instagram and my youtube community tab and of course hopefully in next week's vlog i will also get some stuff for the geonosis arena mock as well as some more pieces we can add to the bricklink store inventory so of course please make sure to smash that like button subscribe Comment down below any tips, feedback, tricks, etc. to help me grow my Bricklink store, as well as if you have any questions with starting one yourself. I do have a gear list in my description for everything that I use. So, of course, smash that notification bell ready for next week's vlogs, as well as the live streams. And I'll see you guys in the next vlog. Goodbye, folks.